In the last two videos, we saw strategies for unlocking curiosity in textbook problems, definitions, and worksheets, and we also saw ways to create a need for the concepts we teach. In this video, we're going to look at one of my favorite ways to generate curiosity every single day, estimation challenges. Do you remember the very first thing we did in this workshop? We guessed how many cubes were in this pile and found out the answer was 201. We did this because I wanted to model what I used to do in my classroom nearly every day. I wanted to immediately unlock curiosity as soon as students walked through the door, and therefore an estimation challenge was displayed on the projector at the beginning of every class. The routine is quick. The estimation challenge is displayed while students complete their warm-up, and after five minutes, I stop the warm-up and have student volunteers share their guesses with the class. While students are sharing their guesses, I try to keep a good poker face and simply say, nice or cool, anytime someone shares. The goal is to make sure I don't give any hints and that no student is hesitant to share. Finally, after several students share their guess, I display the answer and we move on with class. This is very little time commitment and students love it. In fact, if I ever miss a day, students ask where the daily guess is. Overall, I really like these challenges because they guarantee students will be curious every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Let's check out a couple more challenges. Watch this. Which square do you think the circle will land in? Pause the video and take a guess. All right, let's see it. Great work if you guess square number four. So you may be wondering, do I need to come up with these myself? The good news is the answer is no. There are actually a bunch of estimations online and they're free. Andrew Stadell has you covered over at estimation180.com. He has created over 200 estimations, more than one per day for an entire school year, and they're all free. In addition, I have quite a few on my website as well. Check out those two sites and find some challenges to use with your students. Another site I really like is overview.com, which is also known as Daily Overview. Although it's not a math site, it does have incredible satellite images from around the world, and many of the estimation challenges on my site are inspired by it. Let's check one out. Look at this image and take a guess. How many school buses are in the picture? That's right, they're school buses, not cigarettes. This is actually a satellite view of a bus barn. Anyway, pause the video and take a guess. Seven hundred on the dot. Another thing I really like about the daily overview based estimations is the fact that the site shares the latitude and longitude coordinates of the image. Therefore, one thing I like to do after students have seen the answer is open up Google Maps and zoom into the location. It's yet another opportunity to get kids curious, even if it's not necessarily about math. I believe estimation challenges are the easiest way to generate curiosity. They're quick, they don't require prep, and they can be used nearly every day. Also, you don't have to worry about aligning the challenges with the content you're teaching, because unlike 3-Act Math, you're not trying to accomplish a learning goal. Instead, you're just trying to get the class off to a good start by immediately getting students curious. Well, what are you waiting for? Go pick an estimation you like and put it in front of your students the next time you teach.